some old Snalock. Well, it's cleaner than what it was. Got a bit of a shine to it. But it's still pretty rough. I'm going to try some of the finer grit processes and see what that does for it. I'll put this little sanding disc flap wheel in here. See what that does first. A little finer grit, more of a polish than the rough 120 grit flap wheel was. Not exactly sure what the grit is on this one. Numbers have long since disappeared. But it does seem to put a little bit more of a shine on it, so we'll go up through the steps on the grits and see what happens. Where the surface of the blade is flatter, doesn't have as, quite as rough a surface, this side is really rough, it's got a lot of pits. But I can see that this little section right here that I just did is smoother than this back here. It's a finer grit, scratches are smaller, it's a little bit more reflective. See the difference right here on this line. From here forward, here backward, where I've used the finer grip. And I can see that there's a darker shadow in the center section. Quite a bit of difference. This is the rough side, and this was the side that wasn't quite as pitted. This little polishing wheel I bought through Amazon and it's a uh, much more expensive version of this thing. But then again if I was paying myself dollar an hour for the time that I put into other arbor probably was more expensive than either one of these or both of them together
Well, I don't think I'm going to get it much better, but I'm going to try it anyways just to see what happens. I think this one's actually coarser than that reddish one. Yep, this one does more of a polish than the green one. The green one's leaving it duller. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up with the green one. I'll put the blue one. Well, I guess it's purple. Put the purple one back in. It actually shines up a little better that way. You go over with a coarse one, then you come back with a finer one, and it takes the scratches out from the coarse one. I have a feeling this one's not going to do much, but I'm going to try it anyways. This would be the last step in the process. scratch pattern from this green wheel here is very similar to the scratch pattern that I got from this green wheel. So I think they're about an equivalent in coarseness. This one is going to have more surface speed just because of the larger diameter so it's going to go faster. But I think it's also tending to scour it a bit. I'm going to go back over this one more time with the purple one. Then I'm going to call it done. So now I have a shiny saw blade. This side, decent. This side, pretty hammered. But it's really not going to make much difference to how well it cuts. Uh, I've taken all the set out of it. There's no set left on this blade at all. So when I go through and, and sharpen the teeth, I'm going to drop the gullets of the teeth down so I'll be able to give it a bit more set. And I'll go through and set the whole blade. The set is going to make it so that the sides don't actually hit. And having the pits in there, the, the sides of the, of the cut, unless you fill those pits up with pitch or something like that, which I suppose could happen. 
but the sides of the cut are not aggressive enough to grab a hold of the blade in the pits and actually stop it or offer much in, in the way of resistance. So we'll give it a sharpen and see what it does. I'll see you on the next video.